Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Gigi and this is my place. If you're new here, we do a lot of everything on this channel. So come and subscribe and show up for the things that you like and forget about the things that you don't. If you're already a subscriber, if you're already a subscriber, I can say subscriber. If you're already a subscriber, you know you are one of my favorites. I absolutely adore you guys. So today, I have jack shit going on in my life right now. Literally nothing. I was sitting here this morning having a little coffee, you know, as you do. And I was thinking I really need to make a video today. If I slack off, I'm not going to reach close to 150 by the end of the month. I literally got... Uh, today's the 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Five days to get. I'm not going to make it, guys. I'm not going to make it to 150. So I might have to double up a couple days like I did yesterday and a couple days ago. Um, which, whatever, it's my channel, I guess. I guess if I'm making videos, that's better than not making videos, right? So, um, wait, I don't know why I didn't just pour all that in there. So let's finish off my coffee. Mm. I always keep my spoon in my coffee. I don't know why, but I just feel weird if it's not there. So there's a little idiosyncratic thing that you now know about me. I hope I said that correctly. So since there's nothing going on with me, except that I did a little housework this morning and I'm gonna work on nails this afternoon and I will film some of it. Um, although I think that's going to go on the other channel. Guys, I'm not, I'm so uncertain about this YouTube thing. That's what's going on with me. I'm so uncertain about this YouTube thing and I'm not, I think I just want to keep this channel as vlogging and fun stuff, you know, movies, things I care about too though, right? It can't just be superf superfluous. I think that's the word can't be froth it can't all just be that there's so many channels already like that and that's not all that I am I want this channel to be authentically about me and so and about the, the world that I hope to help create and I can't be authentic on the channel if I don't talk about all the things I care about um, so with that in mind since today I really don't have anything going on with me other than I'm in a holding pattern, sort of. I'm just sort of chilling in Fresno and um, making everything is as awesome as I can while I wait to find a place in, in San, Di oh, San Diego. I wish. Be still my heart, okay? But um, no, in Las Vegas. So, uh, and that's gonna happen, you know, a couple of, one of a couple of different ways. So. Maybe that's another video, I, but that'll when that happens, we'll have that video. How about that? Just know that the plan right now is to go to Las Vegas and live closer to my family and be more of a help to them, but also just closer to them. And, you know, I envision like Sunday dinners and stuff, stuff like that. That's what I'm looking forward to is like dinners and movies with my grandkids, stuff like that. So, um, what I thought I'd do today is, while I was having my coffee, let's have a cup, a cup, a drink, let's have a drink. Um, I was looking at my uh, Google News Feed, and um, since, since Facebook decided, however long ago it was, to eliminate news from its website, um, I, uh, I've started paying more attention to my Google News Feed because I need some source of, source of what's going on in the world or I feel really isolated and I don't feel effective in trying to create a world where everyone has a shot at being happy, right? An actual shot, not a pretend some white guys, sorry, my hair, I have a piece of hair falling out or something. It's driving me crazy. I think that's happening on both sides. Um, not just, not just some white guys said, hey, everybody's equal. 
That's not, that's the world we're in now. I don't want to be in that world. I want everyone to got, have a real honest shot at doing what they want. And at least, at the bare minimum, nobody sleeping on the street or going hungry unless that's a choice that they have made on their own which I really don't think there's a lot of folks that want to do that. So, um, with that in mind, <laughs> wow, I've really blabbed. Yeah, with that in mind, but you know that, right? With, <laughs> with that in mind, I just thought, let's talk about some news today, all right? Let's just have a little coffee. and chat about some news. If you want to grab some coffee, I'll wait. Got it? Awesome. Let's do this. Um, so I'm going to go from horrible to better. If you just want to hear about the better, then I recommend you just sort of skip toward the end. But honestly, you can't affect change in the world if you don't know what's going on in it. So, I mean, I don't really want this to per se be a news show, but these are just things I saw that happened today. I want to give my two cents on what I think about those. So think of it maybe as the opening of The View minus all the view bitches. Okay, so the first thing I noticed was um, and I forget exactly where this happened. It, this is not the first thing I noticed, actually. This is like one of the last things I noticed. It's the first thing I'm going to talk about. Bullying has gotten to a new extreme. In that a mother who went, I'm, oh wait, I don't want this to come up as a YouTube video. Um, sorry, oh my goodness. A mother who was going to the school to check on her child. Um, I'm going to include this YouTube video in the, the comments below. It's from CBS 17 once I watch it. Um, and uh, that way you guys can see her as well. I don't want to put, I'm afraid to put any other content in the video, even if I figure out how to do that, frankly, because everyone's videos get pulled down and flagged and I am not by any means a big YouTuber and I'm not trying to monetize but I still don't need any trouble so honestly I don't know if I should monetize or not what do y'all think um not that I get enough views to make that worth it <laughs> well maybe later maybe later um so anyway the bullying thing this mom goes to the school to talk to the school about why her son's bullying has not been brought to her attention, that a, like a line of students formed in front of him, screaming and chanting, Mexicans need to go behind the wall. What are these parents teaching their children? So that's just disturbing to me. And then um, he tells his mom she goes to the school. She's all, why am I hearing about this first from my son and not about from you? I should have been called about this as soon as the incident occurred. So, um, because they knew about it. They knew about it. And so they had a meeting. I guess she was somewhat satisfied with what happened. And then um, when she went to pick her son up later that day, the kids started following them. He said, mom, those are the kids. They came up and started to physically assault her son, and she stepped in. Dude fucking knocked her out. He's 13. <sighs> Parents, we have to do a better job. And that's where I'm going to leave that. We have to do a better job. And that means you have to change your own attitudes if that's the shit you're teaching your kids. That's fuckly. Okay, so now I'm going to close that story out. The next story is a, is a lot less traumatic. And trust me, I saw some really other traumatic things, especially stuff that happened right here in Fresno. I am not going to get into those because sometimes Fresno is scary, y'all. Um, not in my neighborhood. I've nothing. Actually, some things have happened in my neighborhood, but mostly it's just quiet here. Um, it, I can tell you all about that too in another video. Let me know down below if you want to hear about 
the things that have happened in my neighborhood in the almost two years I've lived here. Because it's really only a couple small things. But they're actually not that small. So, <laughs> I don't think I've talked about them here. So, um, from the New York Times I'm reading, and I'm sure it's other places, but this is where I read it. And actually the first story I read that on Mercury News. And it's also on, I think, CBS or something. Right, CBS. Because um, I said that. Uh, Eric Trump, in an interview uh, with Breitbart News... Don't even get me started with that rag. Um, said that he was disgusted because a waitress spat on him at a restaurant. And I am so torn by how I feel about that. Because part of me wants to go, oh, dude, oh, my dude, you got what you deserved. But that's not right, people. The other half of me is, no, no. And I only bring this up to say this. We have got to be responsible for our behavior at all times. Not just when people are being nice to us or when people that we like are around us. That's not character. That's easy. It's always easy to be a good person to the people that you like. But you're not really a good person if you're not also a good person to the people that you hate that simple you cannot let your behavior be dictated by who you're dealing with you always fucking live up to your character and I know that that's not that easy I'm not saying that I always live up to my character or the character that I am hoping to craft inside myself to hone and sharpen and build up, to add to, to strengthen. Um, uh, I've got a long way to go, so, so, so far. But here's the thing about that, is that you, you have to hold yourself accountable as much as you hold anyone else accountable. And you can't use excuses for your behavior. When you're wrong, you say you're wrong. Now, I don't know what this waitress is going to do, whether or not, I know that she got arrested, but she was released because Eric, in his benevolence, I guess, um, or maybe his publicist told him punching down is not a good look, um, which is all it would be. I mean, she let her emotions get the better of her and her anger led her to do something. I'm sure it had to have been anger. You don't do that out of love for someone, okay? You hate people that you spit on, okay? Um, So, no, you can't do that. I'm not saying you don't fight these people. I'm not saying you roll over and show your belly. I'm saying that you keep yourself in check. And that when you fight these people, you have to tell the truth. You have to be strong and tough. But you don't resort to lowering your behavior to their behavior because then you win. And trust me, they are spitting on us every day in every possible way that they can. So that's another video. Don't, don't, don't do that shit. Although part of me really still thinks it's funny. Okay, so now if you, this might not be of interest to a whole lot of people except anyone who watches Screen Junkies and Honest Trailers. Um, and um, sorry, my computer just decided right this second was the, just the time that Chrome is gonna take a minute to figure out its nonsense. Um, but uh, the whole movie fights, screen junkies thing has been in sort of turmoil um, because of allegations against the creator I believe he created the channel Screen Junkies and his name is Andy Signore um, he has reached a settlement so legally he is no longer 
required to be quiet. He is maintaining that he is innocent of the allegations against him, that he did nothing that he's been accused of. He has receipts and that he is going to show them. I will just say for my part, when the allegations came out, I burst into tears because I am a big fan of the Screen Junkies channel. So much so that I have even been able to let go of how I feel about what um, one of the people on the show did during a Shia LaBeouf incident. And that's just a whole nother story and we won't get into that, but I love Screen Junkies. I love Dan Merle. He's a part of not only movie fights, but the movie trivia showdown. He's also just a, like from everything I can tell, just a totally stand up guy. Um, and I thought Andy was as well. And honestly, I'm trying to reserve judgment because while I do want to believe all women, I know not all women are believable. And I know that that is going to be a very controversial statement. So let's go ahead and have a little drink while we just let it soak in. I have a feeling this phone's going to ring any second and then I'm going to have to pause you. So I'm just going to say on that story that I am curious and um, I'm not sure what's going to happen from, I'm going to watch and see what he says. And I, I just, I was devastated when this news came out, just literally devastated. So I am not sure what I think or what I feel. I know that it wasn't just the women who made the accusations. A gentleman that is also part of everything um, said that he was aware of what was going on and was threatened to stay silent. So I, I don't know. I'm gonna wait and see what the receipts are, I guess. So, and here it is. Let's go ahead and answer this together. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hello. Say hello to the people. You are on my video right now. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pause you guys out and we will be back for the Guys, I'm back, I've got some fresh coffee. Um, and I did finish my conversation with my daughter. And after I finished that, let's go ahead and let's just take a quick sip. If you don't have coffee, go up, go grab some. Although we're almost done here. So if you wait for the next video, I'm gonna film something else after this. Actually a lot today, so. I needed that sip though, because I decided that the last thing I wanted to talk about, I'm gonna make a separate video about because it's too lighthearted to go with the story I'm about to talk about. And honestly, I almost wish I hadn't put the stuff about Andy Signore in there, but you know, Andy Signore makes me sad. That whole story makes me sad, so maybe it is fine that it's in here. And I'm not gonna speak on this story too much because I'm gonna link a video for you to watch. I implore you to watch. I implore you to watch. Um, a video, a video, a picture is on the internet floating about right now, floating about bombing the internet right now, exploding the internet right now, of a father and his daughter who drowned in the Rio Grande River coming from Mexico to Texas, but they were originally coming from El Salvador. And I cannot explain to you as beautifully why they were coming and why it's our fault, meaning the US and our foreign policy, and by our silence and our complacency, all of us, honestly. Um, but I can't explain that connection between us and El Salvador and why these people are fleeing their country as well as Bo does, Bo of the fifth column. So I'm gonna link his video below. I implore you to watch it. It is worth your time. It is worth your attention. It is worth 
the time that it takes for you to write a letter or call your Congress people and ask them to do something about our foreign policy or anything else that you care about. They work for us and we can tell them what we want. Now, not every single person is gonna get their way, of course not, but if enough people on the right side of things call and make demands, basically, that they work for the betterment of humankind instead of corporations, then that will start to change. And of course you have to you have to vote. You have to vote. The policy that we're doing right now is not good. It's not good. <laughs> it wasn't good under Obama and it's even worse under Trump. And it certainly wasn't good under any of the presidents in my lifetime, pretty much. So but we the people can change it. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Please go watch Bo's video. Thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry to end on a downer. Um, I'm gonna make a, a video about the other subject I wanna talk about, but it's super lighthearted. And honestly, I might even upload it before this video. So if you see that up first, I hope you come and came and watched this one too, even though it was not the coolest video. I'm sorry, but Ooh, sometimes life is not cool. Um, but you know, we do have some cool things coming up. Friday is um, Swamp Thing. Seriously, go watch Swamp Thing. It is so worth your time. I, I can't help it that they're not gonna do a season two, but maybe if enough people watch it, tweet about it, Instagram it, Facebook it, tag those bitches, maybe we could get something happening. That That's happened in the past. So don't give up on that. So Swamp Thing on Friday. Um, I'm gonna do some nail stuff today, but like I said, I'm on the fence. This channel, down for Glam channel, maybe a little, I, I don't know. What would you like to see? Tell me below. <laughs> and it, I, like I said at, at the <coughs> beginning of this video, please subscribe. And if you are subscribed, you're one of my favorites. Have a great day.